Hello good everyone, today we will learn how to integrate PayPal checkout in an Angular application. So go to the PayPal sign up website to create a new account. We can create a personal or a business account. Let's create a business account to simulate that we're selling and receiving payments. So click the button, fill the form. For the email address, we will create a temporary email. So in this website, I copy this email address and define a password, agree to the privacy statement and user agreement and create the account. So PayPal will send a security code in the email. So refresh this temporary email. So copy the verification code, skip the account activation. So click skip. Now this is the main dashboard for the PayPal. So go to the developer tab. So in order to integrate PayPal with Angular, go to the Apps and Credentials tab, the dashboard to connect or to send requests to the PayPal REST API. So we need to create a REST API app. By default, PayPal creates a default application. So open the app name and we have the API credentials needed to integrate PayPal checkout in Angular. So go to Visual Studio Code to create a new Angular application using the Angular CLI type NGN to create a new application, define the name. Let's skip the test and select the defaults. Open the containing folder. Let's create a simple shopping cart application. So from Bootstrap, we will use this a snippet this HTML and CSS template to create a shopping cart website. I'll provide the links in the description below. So scroll down and copy the HTML code, update the HTML and go to the CSS and add the styles for this shopping cart application. We need to install Bootstrap in the application to reflect the styles in the Angular application. So copy this command and execute in the terminal to install bootstrap. Now go to the index.html to add the bootstrap JavaScript and CSS references. So go to the documentation, scroll down and copy the CSS reference link paste in the head section and finally copy the JavaScript reference in the body clear the console and set the application to see the shopping cart website. This is what it looks like. It's the same as the template that we have from this HTML snippet. So let's go and add the PayPal buttons, the PayPal integration. So go back to the Bootstrap HTML website and go to the ng adds PayPal documentation to integrate the PayPal checkout for Angular. So go to the official documentation about this package. This is the lib preview for the PayPal buttons to pay with the PayPal account or with a debit or credit card. So how to install? Let's copy this command and go to the Angular application. Let's stop the application and run the command. We need to import this NGX PayPal module. So go to the TypeScript file and in the import section add the reference to the PayPal module. For this demo, we will use the PayPal checkout integration only on the client side. So this is the basic configuration in the TypeScript file. So I will copy this code, go to the Angular component. Let's paste it. So before fixing the errors in this add component TypeScript file, go back and I will explain briefly what is the flow in this PayPal configuration. So basically we call this init configuration method, which contains this PayPal configuration property, which we define the currency we do handle in order to process a payment, the client ID, which comes from the API application, the API credentials, which contains the client ID. We will copy this value Go back. This function create auto on client, scroll down, 
you will see that basically is to create the order on the client side so this function create order on client will take the purchase units that we will pass the amount contains the currency code and the total value of the order the breakdown also contains the same currency code and the same total value and then we define the items with several properties such as the name the quantity the category the currency code and the value for that unit so we will configure this in the TypeScript file so scroll down we have other functions such as on approve basically on approve this configuration in this paypal configuration is executed when the paypal transaction was approved but it's not authorized yet so in the nets function which is the on client authorization we complete the transaction we authorize after approval we authorize and we complete the order or transaction with paypal okay and we have this on cancel on error and on complete functions so go back to the angular application and import the ngx paypal this interface import the required classes scroll down and fix the errors let's add these details as any to prevent this error remove this property which is not used uh, let me fix the errors so go back to the documentation and finally we will paste this line of code in the html to render the paypal buttons so go back and in the html we will paste this line of code this piece of code in the table which contains the subtotal discount and the details about the shopping cart so at the final at the paypal buttons clear the console and serve the application again to see the paypal buttons in the angular application you can see the paypal buttons please don't forget to copy the client id from the developer dashboard so go back and open the paypal developer dashboard in the api credentials copy the client id to integrate this business account to the configuration in the paypal angular application so copy the client id go back to the angular application and we have the buttons so far so good so let's configure the angular application to reflect this total based on the products so go back to the angular application and configure these purchase units with the currency code the items we will pass so in a notepad file i will copy these two properties so we will have these purchase items which contains the name the quantity and the price for each item and the total so for demo purposes we will just use these hard-coded values in your angular application you will need to dynamically assign the quantity and the price based on the selection made in the ui so in the init configuration function let's set the total that basically the total will be the sum of the quantity multiplied by the price for each item so how to do that call purchase items and then map each item taking the quantity and multiplied by the price and then we will use our reduce function to sum the total values so we will take two parameters and then sum each items and define the default value which is zero in this case and finally convert this value to string this is the total and add a constant for the currency so let's add dollars as a currency code so replace the currency to the constant and then in the purchase units the value in the amount object in and in the breakdown will be the total it must be the same in order to process the payment okay and finally in the item section let's replace this array by calling purchase items that map okay and with each item we will return a particular item of type 
i transaction item so the name will be the purchase item that name the quantity the category let's keep it as digital goods the unit amount will be currency code at the same constant and finally the value will be the price property convert the quantities to a string and the price as well and that's it we're mapping the purchase 18 for the TypeScript file to the items in the create or the on client object that we will send to PayPal and that's the configuration we need in this object to process the payment so save and show the total in the HTML so we'll do the HTML and in the final table we'll show the total apply a currency pipe to format this total with the default currency which is dollars so go to, to the angular application and we will see that the total corresponds to the sum of the total items now open the console tab in the dev tools to see the lots from the functions invoked in the paypal configuration so let's pay with a paypal account so click this paypal button it will open this window so let's change the language and add an email and a password from a paypal account so in your paypal developer dashboard you can go to the testing tools in the sandbox accounts okay so log in again enter the password so in the sandbox test account we have the business account which is associated with the current paypal checkout integration by using the client id so with this personal sandbox account we can get the paypal credentials to do the payment to perform the payment but before that go back and reset the balance from this business account scroll down and in the paypal balance let's set as zero to see that the payment value is reflected in this paypal balance go back and open the personal sandbox account copy the email and password and login so we will pay the same amount we define in the angular application in the shopping cart website so we'll pay with the paypal balance so click this complete purchase button to perform the paypal create all the operation so go to the angular paypal console and you can see that we're invoking several messages in the console first one is the on approved function that basically the transaction is approved but it's not yet authorized but we can see the order details the second object so we have the purchase units which we define the amount the items that we passed and for the moment in the on approve the status is approved but is not completed is approved but it's not completed so in the on client authorization function invocation we will complete the transaction so expand the object and you can see the status is completed so now go back to the sandbox account go to the business account scroll down and you can see the new paypal balance is not the same due to the paypal merchant fees i'll provide in the description below about it so we created an order for an angular application successfully go back to the angular paypal application and now pay with a debit or credit card enter the details about the card number so we'll go back and you can test uh, the integration the paypal checkout with credit debit cards by using these account numbers so i'll provide the link of these test credit card account numbers so use any of them go back type the card number add fake data define all the fields and click the pay now button the zip code is invalid so let's fix it so i will check for a florida postal code okay and click the pay now button so the payment is completed using a debit or credit card go to the sandbox account and 
go back and open again the business account to see the PayPal balance. You can see it's updated because we paid with a debit or credit card. So in this demo, we'll learn how to integrate PayPal checkout in an Angular application.